this video tutorial I will cover uh, bridge design pattern implementation before you watch this video tutorial please log into my channel and watch uh, bridge design pattern introduction uh, bridge design pattern real time example and uh, bridge design pattern class diagram uh, video tutorials then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly okay now we will see the scenario where we can use the bridge design pattern Uh, in bridge design pattern there are uh, two layers are there uh, the first layer is uh, abstraction layer and the second layer is uh, implementation layer and if I made any changes in implementation layer it won't affect the abstraction layer uh, like that if I made any changes in abstraction layer uh, it won't affect the implementation layer as per the bridge design pattern okay uh, left side you can see the abstraction uh, suppose say I want to turn on the TV or uh, turn off the TV then what I can do is I can uh, use uh, remote control uh, which will initiate the turn or or uh, turn off the TV okay and the implementation will be done by the uh, original uh, TV implementer so in this case uh, uh, Samsung uh, TV or uh, Sony TV will uh, implement the turn on or uh, turn off functionality okay so this abstraction will use uh, one of this uh, implementer to uh, turn on or uh, turn off the TV okay uh, suppose say later I want to uh, add some new implementer uh, in the implementation layer I can do that uh, suppose say I want to add uh, uh, new TV uh, say Panasonic uh, uh, TV then I can add it in the implementation layer without affecting the abstraction layer uh, like that I can add uh, uh, new Panasonic uh, TV remote in uh, abstraction layer uh, without affecting the uh, implementation layer uh, so this is the best example of uh, bridge design pattern uh, this is the class diagram of the scenario which we have uh, just discussed uh, here you can see the interface uh, LED TV it has uh, three abstract methods switch on switch off and uh, set channel uh, this LED TV interface is implemented by uh, two concrete classes uh, the first one is uh, Sony LED TV and the second one is uh, Samsung LED TV uh, both of these concrete classes uh, provides implementation of uh, uh, switch on switch off and uh, set channel method so what this uh, uh, switch on method will uh, do is it will uh, turn on the TV uh, what switch off method will do is it will uh, turn off the TV and uh, using uh, set channel method you can uh, change the uh, channel of the uh, TV okay and uh, uh, left side uh, top you can see uh, uh, abstract remote control uh, which is uh, abstract class and it has uh, three methods uh, which are abstract uh, first one is switch on uh, second one is switch off and the third one is uh, set channel okay and it has a protected variable uh, LED TV and this abstract remote control uh, uh, abstract class has extended by uh, two concrete classes uh, the first one is uh, Samsung remote control and uh, second one is uh, Sony remote control okay and uh, both of these uh, concrete classes uh, provides implementation of uh, switch on switch off and uh, set channel okay uh, so you have to attach uh, this uh, remote control to the particular uh, uh, LED TV okay uh, so when you use uh, switch on method it will initiate uh, uh, turn on option on the particular uh, Samsung TV and uh, uh, the switch off method what it will do is it will initiate uh, uh, turn off option on the uh, particular LED TV and uh, this set channel method what it will do is uh, using this uh, remote control uh, we can uh, change the channel on the particular LED TV okay uh, Sony remote control also does the same thing but it will uh, do it on the uh, Sony TV basically we have to attach the uh, LED TV to the particular uh, remote control and uh, client class uh, which is used to explain this uh, bridge design pattern and it has uh, main method and this LED TV interface and this uh, concrete classes Sony LED TV and uh, Samsung LED TV uh, falls under the implementation layer and uh, abstract remote control uh, Samsung remote control and uh, Sony remote control uh, it falls under the abstraction layer okay I will open Eclipse and I will show you the code 
uh, I have opened Eclipse so now we will see the code uh, here you can see the interface LED TV it has uh, three abstract methods switch on switch off and uh, search channel method uh, these abstract methods will be implemented by the uh, implementation classes uh, the Samsung LED TV uh, which is concrete class which implements uh, LED TV and uh, provide implementation of uh, switch on switch off and uh, search channel method uh, using this switch on method we can uh, turn on the Samsung TV using this uh, switch off method uh, uh, we can turn off the Samsung TV using this uh, set channel method we can uh, change the channel of the Samsung TV uh, and uh, Sony LED TV uh, which is uh, concrete class which implements uh, LED TV interface and provide implementation of uh, switch on switch off and uh, set channel method uh, using this switch on method you can uh, turn on the Sony TV and uh, using this uh, switch off method you can uh, turn off the Sony TV and uh, using uh, this search channel method we can uh, change the channel of the Sony TV okay uh, next one is abstract remote control uh, which is abstract class and it has uh, three abstract methods switch on switch off and uh, search channel method and it has uh, protected variable LED TV uh, this variable will be available to the subclasses okay and uh, Sony remote control uh, which is concrete class which extends uh, abstract remote control and uh, provide implementation of uh, switch on switch off and uh, set channel method and uh, in the constructor you have to attach the LED TV uh, which you want to access uh, remotely okay and uh, Samsung remote control uh, which is uh, concrete class and uh, it extends uh, abstract remote control and uh, provide implementation of uh, switch on switch off and uh, set channel method and uh, it has constructor uh, in that constructor you have to pass the LED TV which you want to access uh, remotely okay and uh, next one is client class and it has main method so here I am using uh, Sony remote control and I am attaching uh, Sony LED TV to the Sony remote control so that I can access uh, uh, Sony LED TV remotely and I can do uh, turn on or turn off or change the channel okay so like that I am using uh, Samsung remote control to uh, remotely access the uh, Samsung LED TV I will uh, run this uh, code and I will show you the output so you can see uh, turning on Sony TV turning off uh, Sony TV setting channel number 20 on Sony TV so like that uh, uh, turning on uh, Samsung TV, turning off uh, Samsung TV, setting channel number 20 on uh, Samsung TV. Uh, so this is the best example of uh, bridge design pattern. Uh, and I hope uh, you understand the bridge design pattern implementation very clearly. And I have put together all this uh, sample code related to bridge design pattern in my blog called uh, RamJT. You can just visit this uh, blog and uh, get the sample code. And uh, this is about uh, British Design Pattern Implementation. Thanks for watching. Bye.